Hello humanity and welcome to Humanity Ancient History. My name is Emilio de Jesus and today we'll be talking about the, this tablet right here. Okay. Um, you will have the front of the tablet and the back of the tablet. Alright. I will explain both for you guys. Both things for you guys. The name is Paestos Disc. Paestos. 17 BC from tablet. Okay, this is the front. The A sun sleep for a hundred years. This one is normal weather in the planet Earth. All right, that's what this tablet is telling you. Okay, so before we get moving on, before Christ, that's bullshit. There's no Jesus Christ. That's all a lie. All right, it's just saying that's just mind control. We have a fake government, fake religious belief, fake education system. It's all to control you guys. It's easier to control a civilization of stupid people, people who don't study. Any person who's a religious person. Okay, let me put it this way. Uh, a lot of people say, a lot of religious people, and I try to explain it to them, they say, um, you are a, um, how do they call that? Okay, all Christian people, all Christians, all Jews, all Muslims, all Buddhists, um, the ones who worship nature, what you, how you call those people? Um, there's a name for them. Well, they don't know what they're talking about neither, all right? All those spirituality people, they don't know what they're telling you, okay? And in order to you to understand what's going on, you have to get your constellation star map. You have to study this because all these stories repeat themselves. The Bible repeats itself. All this stuff is the same story, okay? You have to use your constellation star map when you read this. I already decoded Genesis chapter 1 to 3, okay? For you guys, you guys can understand. For example, the yellow sun, you know, before Christ, this is the yellow sun. This is saying before the last cycle. This is the ice age, one and two, okay, before Christ. See, because now we are in, in the new 12,000 year cycle, okay? But the yellow sun has many names, many stories. That's Jesus Christ, that's Hona, that's um, Noah, that's um, Yeshua, Joshua, whatever names you want to give it. The Jacob's sons, you see, these are the Jacob's 12 sons. You see, Jacob and his 12 sons. It has many names, many stories, okay? A yellow sun, all right? Again, a lot of people are asking me when I'm gonna be done with the book of Enoch, okay? Look, this is my first book, it's free for you guys, a free PDF, okay? I change, I'm only gonna print 100 co copies of these by making a new book with all the books that I decoded. I'm in chapter 6 with the book of Enoch. So all those pages that I'm doing like this, okay, I'm going to make it into another book, okay? But I decoded the book of Enoch. I'm still working on. I did, I did the chapter, um, the Bible, Genesis 1 to 3, and I did all the Emerald Tyrus of Thought chapters. So that was, those videos are done, except for the book of Enoch. So <laughs> I'm still working on that one. But it's going to be a book, so you people know how to read between the lines, so you people won't be fooled. Again, all religious people, are superstitious people. They don't know what they're saying. They're brainwashing generation after generation after generation. All right? So let's keep moving on. So, how, okay, let's start with this book here. I mean, with this tablet. Let me explain it to you guys. Um, all right. Oh, pagans. It's the other ones. The ones that call themselves pagans. That's all. Everything that the Christians, the Jews, the Catholic, the Buddhists, the pagans, all that stuff. This is knowledge. It has nothing to do with paganism or whatever other BS you want to call it. This is knowledge. Okay? The stars is the only knowledge. It tells you how to harvest, how to prepare for the three cycles. Okay? We have the rest and solar system, it's the first cycle. It comes in every millennium. Then we have the 10,000 years of light, 2,000 years of darkness. The Ice Age is the 2,000 years of darkness. Then we have our galaxy collision. That's every 84,000 years. I'll figure that out. So, so let's keep moving on. So let's explain this tablet right here. Okay? Sorry for getting off the subject. I do that a lot. Hopefully I don't do that no more. Okay. This is the tablet, okay? We're going to explain the front disk. This is the front, the front, and the back. All right. So let's do the front first. 
All right, so the first thing you have to do is, let's put this right here. Let me zoom in. All right. I'm gonna explain it like this real quick, then I'll explain it to you in little by little, all right? So the first thing you have to do, you, you have to count, okay? You see these little, little um, closed gaps they have in here? So you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You see? These are, these twelves are the twelve ages above. Alright? I was playing for more later. Then you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, these are the 18 constellation more suns. All right, you will have your um your basic 12. Okay, you know the ones of the month. Then the seven constellation more suns. Actually, six. Okay, okay. So the 19 comes in every millennium. That's the reverse one. That's the here's the 19. Right here. That's the 19. All right. Yep. That's the 19. Yep. All right. That makes it 18. 12 plus 7. So let's get started. Let's get to the regular one now. All right, we're gonna get to the images so you guys can see. All right. So right here is the images. I'll decode it for you guys. I'm gonna explain that in more detail. So we count the 18. Okay. See 18 in the inside. Or you will see, okay, the 14 constellation is not in right now because it's the, this is talking about the, you see, Earth is in the 29 power for 800 years. You must understand that. 29 power for 800 years. When the red sun comes in, it will be the 33 powers. All right. So, so uh, right now, ignore the 14. So we're just going to talk about, all right. So I put each one. This is the wheel above. So let me show you guys in a better detail. Okay. Let's explain the wheel above first. Okay, I don't want to confuse nobody. All right. Okay. Can you see? This is the wheel above. All right. You will have 12. You see, these are 12 ages 2,000 years of darkness, 10,000 years of sunlight. Same thing, you see? 2,000 years of darkness, 10,000 years of sunlight. All right? Then if you want to go on the inside, talk about the inside. You see, you will have your basic 12, okay? You see? 3, say, remember that's it? 3, 6, 9, 12, you see? You will have Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, and Virgo. You see? So those are the ages above. You have to remember that. Okay? Like for example, I'm a Leo. I'm an, I'm a Leo. But I was born, my energy from above is um it's between it's between when a new age of um Aries. So I'm between um, Pisces and Aries, all right, somewhere in the middle, in between, all right, but that's gonna confuse you guys right there. I don't want to confuse you, okay? So let's get started. Let's do this over again. This rim here, the 12, are the 12,000 years above. Our galaxy cycles are 12,000 years. It's not what they teach you in our in our education system. That takes million years to us to orbit the Milky Way galaxy. That's all a lie, 
all right? That's the elite that just want to save themselves and their family when they go. We right here in the age of Aries. When the Sagittarius is the last 1,000 years of sunlight, that comes the age of Capricorn Aquarius. That's when people go to live in the underground cities, all right? So there we go. One and two, all right? So now we got that out of the way. These are the four elements, okay? So now we're gonna talk about the inside. So we got the 12, 12, um, 13, um, we're not gonna count 14 now. So we got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you see? Those are the 18, the 19 is not, it's not in, it comes in every millennium cycle, all right? So these are the 18 constellations sleep. The eight suns are sleeping for 800 years. That's no more climate in the planet Earth, all right? So, so I hope you understand what you're seeing. So you got Leo, all right? Leo is August. Then we got, this is the constellation Duraku. It's right here, Duraku, all right? Then we got number nine. Number nine is down here, Virgo, okay? That is September. Then we got 10, Libra, that is October. Then we got, then we got the constellation Polaris Usta Minor. Okay, this is what makes the Earth tilt. You know how the Earth go, revolves around the yellow sun every 365 days when, she, when she's around it as the cause of the seasons. So these are the point powers. You know how you see those um, pentagrams and all those symbols is just talking about the points, all right? I made videos explaining this before. Then we have... Da, 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 da. Then we got Scorpio, that's November. Then we got Sagittarius, that's December. Then we got Orion. Here's Orion, okay? The power is not... Um, let me see. 9 to 12 and 13 to 16 because Orion holds two suns, all right? Then we have... I'm a Capricorn, that is January, then Aquarius, that is February. Now remember when I say, when I'm saying both of them, you have to think about the wheel above as well, all right? So you, have, you must understand the difference, okay? And the only way you're going to learn that is by you studying and trying to figure out how, you have to learn how to think, all right? Then you have, um, then comes... Let there be light in the age of the star, dog star Sirius. That's in Pisces. Okay, that's March. So dog star Sirius is the power 17 through 20. Then we have Pisces. That's um, spring. Okay. That's the um, earth element. Then we have number four, Aries. That's April. Five that's Tharos, that's May, then comes um, June when the rest, rest sun comes in our, every millennium cycle in the month of June to July for 40 days. It changes energy with the yellow sun. Then comes um, Polaris, I mean Pasayan, its power is 21 to 24. Then comes t -t 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 Cancer, that's when the rest sun solar system, you know, heads out, goes back home. All right. So, right here is all the powers, you see? So, Draco, the powers one through four. You know how they talk about the 33 Kundalini, the 33 vertebrae, the 33 power masons, that's all bullshit. It's just talking about our solar system, the, the mechanical work of the wheel above and below, okay? So, you got Draco, then we got Polaris, then we got Orion. Okay, now, let me do this again. And we'll do it again later. Then we got Dog Star Sirius. Then we got Poseidon. Then we got Hope. That's what I call it. And the rest of the solar system comes later. But when the eight suns sleep, Earth is in the 29 powers for 800 years. Okay? So read my notes. It's all there for you guys. Okay? So that's that one. That one right there. All right. So.
So now let's talk about the back side. So the symbol changes because um, the red star came in and changed the energy. So right now, like if you observe Earth, the nature, you will see that there's a lot of chemtrails up in the sky. The chemtrails is to protect the planet Earth, okay? From the radiation of the suns um, to protect the species in the planet Earth because we can go to tra transmutation. This has all happened before, all right? So you will have Pasias, Styx, Patheos, 17 BC, BC before Christ, that's all bullshit. Back at the tablet, back at the tablet. The A sun's awakened for 200 years, climate change, all right? So we have a lot of technologies, okay? We have 5G, a lot of people are talking about 5G. Yeah. You need to understand what it is for. We have underground water tunnels, we have chemtrails, we have CERN, a particle collider, we have a lot of great technologies. We have FEMA to help. You know, right now we the four seasons have more power for two hundred years. So it depends on your area. If you live around the coastlines, water like water levels are gonna rise, all right, slowly. We have two hundred years of this, I will say by the year twenty twenty five. The water level will rise. Um make sure you don't live around um how you call those places where your tectonic place on those fault lines. Where the camp earthquakes and the lands can separate. Alright. So so right here, okay? So the only difference is that they cut it off, you see? Here. So it's the same principle. Okay, Let's put this one out. So right here. Okay. You see the before and after right there. There we go. So now you see here that the red 14 constellation, the red solar system is in. It's making her changes. Okay. So right here is the color version. So you guys can see it for a little bit. Okay. Now you see. So I will have it at the end of this video. You guys can look at it and everything. Okay. But if you want to get the, if you want it all or whatever, you can email me or you can just copy and paste it from the computer. All right. So right here, same thing, 14, you see, now we have 8, we have the 19 in, alright, 18, the 19, alright, so right now we have the basic 12, the 12R, 12 remember I told you guys, the 12 from the outer ring, 12,000 years above, we are in the new age of Aries, okay, we are here from 2017 to the year 3016, then we move to the age of Tharus, for another thousand years, then after the a thousand years is over, but let's put it this way: this is the age of water, age of earth, age of fire. Okay, age of fire. Okay, let's go again: age of water, age of earth, age of fire, the age of air. Okay, each one is a, a thousand years. So we're in the age of Aries for a thousand years. Then we move to the age of Tharos and just keep going like that. That's the clock up above, all right? So let's keep moving on. Now we're going to talk about the inside. There's the back tablet. You have the 14 constellation. Okay, comes in to the Leo. Then again, one of the sun constellations, you should use energy with it. Okay, let me look for that image. She is changing energy with Raku. See? As a changing energy with Raku. Then again, it moves to um, Virgo. Then again, it moves to October. Then again, it changes energy with Polaris Usa Minor. Alright. Then after Usa Minor, it changes energy. It goes to um, Scorpio. Yeah. And after Scorpio, Sagittarius. Then it goes to the constellation Orion. All right, it's showing your energy right there. You see, this is the sun energy. Then it moves. Then the Capricorn, Aquarius. Then again, um, this is, is um, Dog Star Sirius, changes energy. Then again, this is Pisces. Okay. Then again, Aries. Then Taurus. Then Gemini. Then here's the constellation. Passion, she's energy with that sun. 
then she goes to Cancer. Then she exchanges energy with our yellow sun. Here's our yellow sun. She exchanges her energy with for 40 days. See? That's how simple. Okay? Because when the older 19s are in, 19 constellations are in, the eight suns are awakened for 200 years as climate change. So here's the color version. Alright, so you guys can see it. So hopefully you guys understand that knowledge. You see? Here's the 14 constellation. That's the doorway. You see? It's real simple to follow to see. Alright? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned from it. This is the only truth. The star speaks the truth. Not our fake government, not our fake religious beliefs, not our fake education system. That's all fake to control the slaves that you are. The scholars to know what the fuck they're doing. No one knows, alright? I know, because I study. But they don't know, because they are all stupid people. They don't take, make, take the effort to understand this knowledge. Alright? It's in all the ancient temples, alright? So, <laughs> it's all there to see. Look, here's another tablet. I'm going to be doing. It tells you the same story as this one. Same thing. Look, look. It even tells you when the red sun comes in. You have to count all these little stars. Those are the the days, okay? And it tells you it comes in in June. For example, when you read the um, Hopi Indians, um, the twins, Gemini. That's when the blue kachina comes in and it becomes, I mean, the red kachina becomes a blue kachina. It's all the same story. You see? Okay. But I will explain this in another video. So it's all the same story, people. It repeats itself over and over and over again. The truth is there to all to see. We all done this before. Alright? All this has happened before. Alright? So we got our cycles. Let me show you. So we have seven generations of transmutation. We in the fifth, we got two more. We got twenty-four. 24,000 years to go for the end of the species of the human species then a new species will rise all right when after the galaxy collision so i hope i didn't confuse you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video look at the notes study more learn all right so let me do this again so let me put this over here so i can show you guys Everything in color and color. Because I forgot to do that. I forgot to stop. So. Alright. Front tablet right here. Here's the color one. Pause it if you need to. Color one, front tablet, pass it if you need to. Pass it if you need to. I just want to show you guys. It's all telling you the same story. This is when the eight suns are asleep, okay? Okay? Now let me show you this. Side by side. Okay? Sleep, awaken. Okay. Pause it if you need to. You gotta see cycles of 12,000 years. Okay. Pause it if you need to. Okay, now we're going to the back side. Look at it, observe it. Pause it if you need to. Here's all decoded. Okay, right now you see down here I put Draco. Polar Draco is power one through nine. Because Earth doesn't have 33 powers for 200 years. This is the reason for the Earth acid tilt through the seasons. Okay, the four seasons. Orion holds two suns, 9 to 12, 13 to 16. Dog Star Sirius, right here. Draco, right here. Power, let me do this again. Power one through four. Polaris Usa Minor. Okay. 
Polaris, who's not minor, power 5 through 8. Orion, over here. Um, power 9 through 12, 13 through 16. Orion holds two suns. Okay, then we go. Dogstar Sirius holds the power 17 to 20. Then Poseidon, power 21 to 24. I call the power 13 constellation. It's, it's always located at the X. X master spot. X master sp master spot. Power is 25 to 28. Then Destiny, 666-40D. It says in our favor life for 6 years, 6 months, 6 days. Same way DNA, no DNA code, 6 protons, 6 neutrons, 6 electrons. Um, it changes everything. The power is 29 to 32. And Earth is in the 33 powers for 200 years. All right, Right here you see, Earth is the pyramid. Right here you see the my logo. Alright. Okay. Now pause it if you need to. Beautiful tablet. And here's the next one. Pause it if you need to. It's all there to you to see. All right. So remember, it sounds not waking because the 19 constellation is in. It sounds sleep because the red sun went out and it's the 200 years are over. So by the year, it sounds not waking. It sounds like I awakened 2017 to the year 2217, right here, to the year 2217 to the year 3016, the cycle half repeats, all right? Um, 3010, it will come, the rest of will come in the year 3010, we'll make the changes to the seven constellation with sun, she's one of the seven, the eight suns will be awakened and the eight suns will be awakened again for another 200 years. And it keeps like that, it keeps going like that. Until okay, it keeps going like that. Okay, so right here, let me show you guys. So here's here's this one. Let me get the one with the suns. Okay, so we're in this age. Age of Aries, okay. The the last time the last time this happened happened in the year ten ten, okay, when the eight suns were awakened. They heard it was climate change for those people, okay. Then they came in the year twenty ten, okay. They heard changes for six years of months six days. Then again she will come in the year thirty ten for six years of months six days. She will make her changes. So by the in June, um, thirty sixteen, she will come into the thirteenth constellation and changes energy with a. Uh, yellow sun all right for 40 days the red sun will become a blue sun all right all these suns will be active like a lot of scientists are saying right now oh um the sun and the and polaris usa i mean in polaris the sun is is very um it looks like it's going to explore now. it's not going to explore nothing it's because it's it's awakened all these suns are awakened all right our yellow sun is awakened for 200 years all right so it's not gonna explore now. Those scientists are just stupid people who doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Or you know, only the elite science that knows. Our education system scientists, they don't know jack shit. Alright. So there we go. Then again, it will come in the age of in, in the age of Gemini. That's in the year 30, 50, 50, 16, it will come in and 60, 10. Okay, we're, let's do this again. So we got 10, 10, 20, 10, 30, 10, 40, 10, 50, 10, 60, 10, 70, 10, 80, 10, 90, 10, 10, 10. This is the last 1,000 years of sunlight that we're going to have. Then here comes the ice age, all right? So when the red sun comes in the ice age, it has no effects because it goes through that reservoir of water, through the dust clouds, whatever it is that blocks the sun for 2,000 years. Let's become the ice age, and that's when we, the future people, will live underground. And, we'll, and it will be transmutation, we'll become a different species. Like I try, a lot of black people say, oh, we the ones who started everything. <laughs> and they get mad at me. Like, people get angry when you tell them the truth. Like when I talk for religious people, they get angry when the truth is broken. I say, no, God is a fictional character. I'm more powerful than God. They get mad. Same with the black people. When I tell black people, no, you were not the first species. There were some type of titans. There's some reptile titans. Then another... Then giants, then another former giants will not get his scars. We're the fifth. Then we got two more cycles to go. 
two more transmutation so and that's it for example show you guys this is the first species on the planet earth some type of titans some reptile titans okay these reproduce asexually without no sex or nothing if you study lizards from mexico they reproduce without having sex here's the second species third species of okay, these are titans titans giants giants with elongated skulls then we're here in the fifth species that's, that's us okay then we got fusion future and 12,000 years and all 12,000 years our galaxy cycles are 84,000 years then the galaxy collision it will be the end of our species. Our, our species won't be able to reproduce here in the seventh wave in the seventh generation. That's, that's in, in another 24,000 years, okay? So then it will be the last of our species and a new species will be formed. All depends what happens in our galaxy collision. And that's it. It's all there to all to see, all right? It tells you here, you have to understand the cycles. The truth is all there. This all happened before, all right? So who knows, after the galaxy collision, Titans might return. A different kind of Titans, all right? From the ocean will rise. So then the cycles, then again like that. All this that happened before. The Asian people, when they go to the underground cities, when they go to the underground cities, they create temples and they leave their knowledge behind. So for only the smart people will understand. So your government, they create a fake education system to control you guys. You are the slaves. So, <laughs> and that's it, people. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learn a lot. And until next time, bye-bye.